guys, today I'm going to show you how to make roses out of waffle paper, looking like this. This one is very big and open, but you can do any size and shape that you like. It's white now, it hasn't dried yet, so I can't color it just yet, but you can color it in any color that you like. Um, waffle paper roses are very good uh, for cake decoration because they are lightweight. They don't weight almost nothing. They are very light. They are fast to do, so you don't need so much time to make it. Uh, sugar pastes like gum paste, for example, they have to dry. Those petals, they have to dry for a quite long time. And this one, it's very quick to make. Let me show you how to do it. So what do we need for our roses? I have waffle paper here, few sheets of them. I'm gonna cut out my petals. And those are little thicker ones, the same that I use for magnolias. They are four grams each. I have a foam board over here for uh, giving our petals some shape. And I have wires over here, two different thickness of them. Those are for each separate petal that I'm going to make. And I think this is number 24, yes. I have a few of them, I'm gonna cut them short. And then I have one that is thicker, it's 20 gauge. And I'm gonna use this for our center part. This is a styrofoam ball to make our center part of the rose. I have some pliers. Uh, for the wires, scissors, and I have some starch, I have a tooth toothpick if I need it, and a veiner. Then I have here my gel. This is the same gel that I use for, for my waffle paper flowers, for magnolias, made out of water, uh, gelatin powder, and glycerin. And I will give you, once again, I will give you the recipe if you don't know it. I have some water and a brush over here and a brush for the gel, styrofoam, dummy cake to stick my roses inside and, and floral tape also to secure uh, uh, the wires and all the petals together. And I also protected my table with some cellophane sheet or this is a little harder one just to put all the petals on it and I can't, I don't need to clean my table afterwards. So let's get started. First, we are going to make this center part. And for that, I will just stick the toothpick inside to make a hole all the way through. It's a little hard ball. You can also use the, the teardrop shape for the rose. I only have a ball. Then you push it inside uh, about the mid in the middle of this wire and then you push the wire so. Don't push it in too hard otherwise it will tear the styrofoam and the wire will come off. Then you twist it. Like this to make it secure. And this is our base. It's wiggling a little bit. I'll tighten it more. This will probably do. And now I need to cut the petals. Uh, for the center part, I will, the first round, I will need two of the petals and then three. Those are the smallest one. And to, to, uh, to know what size of the petal we need, it has to come from here to over up here. And so you can then close it up and so that we can hide the styrofoam. So about this size, somewhere around here. Something like 
that. I will cut two stripes. Uh, you can use a template for the shape of the petals, but I will just do it like this. I will cut two at the same time. I will give it a little bit wiggly shape at, at the, this part, at the upper part. So this is, those are my first petals. Like I said, I need five of them. You can make extra. It's easier to cut two at the same time. But if you try to cut more than two, you will probably not have uh, nice edges. So try and see. It's good if they don't look if not all of them look the same, like in nature, there are different shapes. So now I have six, that's enough. I only need five probably, but it's good if you have a petal extra. Now I need four middle size um, uh, petals. So I will just estimate the size. This is a little bigger than my first ones and I'll cut four. So four of the middle ones. And now I need 11 of the bigger, the biggest one. Uh, so maybe I could squeeze two of them here. This is, you can make stripes like this and just cut this sheet in two. So somewhere around here. I've put all the petals on this uh, cellophane sheet uh, for protection. And here is my gel. It's still uh, warm enough. For me to start with first petals if this gets hard and you just heat it up in the microwave so you just start applying a thin layer of this gel onto each petal only do the smallest and the uh, middle ones and now leave those ones later uh, there are still uh, soft not soft they are still wet so I want to put some starch on one side so I can apply this gel onto other side if I put this down and brush it like this it will probably get stuck onto this sheet and I can tear it once I want to take it off because it's sticky just a little bit of starch and then turn it around and apply some more gel 
put it down gently you can clean your hands if you have too much gel Do the same for the middle ones. And now take this center part, this uh, bud, and we are going to apply first those uh, smallest ones. And you are going to need some water. This is a bit messy process. You can also use gel, it's more sticky. Jesus. And you place it so you can make this shape, twist it, twist it over here. Don't stick it together, just make that round shape. Gel is better than water. doesn't stick your small child okay I'll take another piece and place it over here so you cover so you cover Part. And then you fold this petal like this. So we covered up uh, the styrofoam. And now take another one, place it where the joint part is, place it over here, and do the same but you don't have to go so close to the center. Do it like this and maybe give this petal some shape. Just pinch it. Take another one, so we have three. So I'll, uh, I'll put one here, one here, and one on this third of this rose. It has to be a little bit higher than the center part, just a little bit. Give it some shape. And the third one. If it sticks to your fingers, you can use some starch if it's sticking too much. It can be more open or more closed, wherever you prefer. So this is our center part. And now we're going to continue with the middle size um, part. 
potatoes. They are wet, but they do have to be. And now put some starch on it so they don't stick. Just make it not sticky, but they are still soft and pliable. Now grab your foam. Now you can give those petals some shape. And you see. Yeah. I'll just press this liner. If you have it, if you don't, you can use some other plastic tool and just make some lines to make it more realistic. This pattern, it's not the same if you would use gum paste, but you can see it's not just a straight paper, so I kind of like it. Now do the same for all other middle part, middle size uh, petals. Not sticking. to press it quite hard if I would have a gum paste that pressure would be too much so I have a little pattern all four are done you can also give it some shape before you put it on or you can do it later can do it with your hands or with a toothpick. Just to make it a little curvy. Okay. I'll attach those petals over here. You can use either water or gel. It's better if you use gel, but mine is a little bit hardened at this point, so I'll just put it in the microwave. I've heated up my gel. It's liquid again. And now grab your rose. Make sure your hands are dry. Here is my rose and I will apply this gel in a V shape, maybe or maybe uh, half of the petal, a little less than half of the petal I can cover with gel. And now I've searched for the joining part, it's over here, so I'm gonna put this petal just a little bit higher than the previous is and I'll stick it on one side and I'll leave this side open so I can place another petal I can also apply gel first Don't apply it too high, you can always add some more if you need it. Let's take the next petal. Place it here, not too high. Lower. Okay. And the third one. are a little bit too high but it's difficult to remove them because they are already stuck to the previous petal I 
Now you can give it more shape. Pinch it. Curve it a little. If they are too high, you can just curve them down. If you need to add more gel, do so. So it's all nicely sticking together. So this is done and now I'm going to show you how to make the final, uh, the final petals, the big ones. It's the same as before. You apply a thin layer of this gel on one side of at each petal. I will give my petals one minute to dry on this side and then in the meantime I can prepare my wires. I have 11 petals and I will split this wire into three. So I am going to need four of them if my math is correct. And I'll, have one, I'll have one left over. So third, somewhere around here, doesn't need to be precise. 12 of them, 12, I'll just put it aside and now I'll do the same as for previous petals. I will dust it with starch so it doesn't stick and I'll apply that gel on the other side. Spread it out evenly, brush it evenly and put it down gently so it doesn't stick to the surface too much now I will also vein them, uh, those petals, so I'm gonna use starch, I'm gonna start with the first petal that it's already a little bit uh, dried, place your petal here and give it some shape. not very visible but a little bit My petals are done and now we're gonna attach the wires on and you can use either some gel or, or water but it's better if you have a smaller brush like this and you apply this gel in the middle of this petal just a small line and somewhere around maybe a little less than half of the petal. Then you put your wire onto it and you pinch, be careful so we don't tear the petal. You pinch it, so. Here, you pinch it. And then Pinch it more. 
and then you fold it so you uh, so you hide the wire in here if it's sticking you can use more starch and now you can give your petal so uh, it will come on the rows like this so I have to curve it uh, on this side so it's curving outwards if it's easier you can do it on this side Leave it to dry a bit. Let me show you one more. Pinch it. Be very gentle still wet paper My petals have been drying for half an hour, maybe a little more. It depends how much wetness you apply to them, how much gel, or it depends on the environment where you live, how quickly they will dry. They are not completely dried yet. This one is almost dried, but it's good if you have uh, a little softness to it still, so you can move it around, but those four are still very wobbly and soft. I should wait another 15 minutes for those four, but I don't want to wait, so I'm going to continue. I have few stripes of my uh, floral tape over here, uh, already stretched it. And now I'm going to first apply those wobbly ones, so the outer ones can hold them in place if they are still too soft. So for the, uh, I just bent, bended the wire a little bit, so I can place uh, that petal over here. So I'm again catching that uh, two parts of the previous row in the middle, maybe a little higher. And now I'm gonna tape that first petal onto our wire okay give it a few twists and then the second one even more wobbly than before a little lower to the camera to see twist or two I have to be very careful because they are this one, they are still very soft and you can bend the wires as much as you like so you get more or less open rows I'm spreading them out like this so this one comes over here
one, two, three, four, five. You can still move them around to spread them more evenly. them up a little bit like I said they are too soft right now and for the last row you do the same now I have six petals you can do five doesn't matter this one the last row will probably hold my wobbly ones. Place in between. Three and three more to go. tape twist it around first so it's sticking now I have to find where the end part is So this is it, this is the rose, it's very open because I didn't leave my petals to dry enough and they are wobbling and falling down, but they are holding its shape, maybe this one isn't, 
uh, and you can't uh, leave it to dry like this just hang it on a rack just make a hook like this and hang it hang it on a rack and all the petals once they are all dry they will hold their shape perfectly what you can also do if the petals aren't holding or staying in that space in that place that you want them to just use some more gel apply apply it to the petal just a small amount and glue them together once the gel is hardened it will the rose will hold its shape you can also do for any other that you see maybe if you want it a little bit closed up for example like here i'll just brush a little bit of the gel and then stick it on like this maybe this one also no it's okay So this is the rose out of waffle paper. So this was a video on how to make roses out of waffle paper and here is the end result. Uh, it's quite big and open rose but you can play around and do any shape or any size of the rose that you would like to have and once this is all dry you can apply some color to it. You can either use uh, uh, powdered colors and brush it on with a brush or use an airbrush and give it more even look especially if you want to have that deep color like dark red for example you will certainly need to use uh, an airbrush uh, because those uh, uh, powdered colors don't give you that intensive color uh, and that's basically it uh, now I'll just leave it to dry till tomorrow and then I can color it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your time. Stay healthy, stay creative and remember anything 